Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. This is episode 12 of my Skiing, Sledding, and Books channel. Today, I am going to be reviewing um, a Nikki Grind by my man Quan. I love reviewing Quan's books, first of all, because every story he's writing is always has a twist and a turn and an OMG moment in it, too. Two, he always connects his characters from previous novels to the storyline he has now. Three... Um, he made me kind of fall in love with a series he has on ebook called the um a purple city tale. Basically, it's basically his book that I would guess is between Harlem and Miami. So I kind of like this series, just like I like the hood rat series too. Mm, excuse me, y'all. Hold on, drink my water. So let me show you what I got: Nikki Grind by Quan, and I'm definitely going to be linking. The um, story link bar below at the end of the video, like I usually do. Okay. Basically, a Nikki Grind is about a woman named Nikki. She was a stripper. And, you know, she um basically met this guy named Felon with his crew. Um, He had the Freak Show crew. You had Felon, Poe Boy, Alonzo, and you also had um, Ron. Ron was the pretty boy. Um, Alonzo was the baby of the group. Poe boy was like the type that grew up poor with no name brand stuff. And as he got older and he learned as he was getting more bread, um, he put his money away. And Felon was more like the um, one that has a good heart but a dark side too. He wasn't the prettiest motherfucker, but... You know, he pulled this shit female too, I bet. Anyway, the studio first begins, basically. <laughs> mm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm a um, sexual person, but some of the shit would be funny, though. Anyway, that's why I call it Carmonica. Now, the book basically opens with um, Rom. He meeting him with another bra, you know. He about to get some doll from her. He some pussy from her. He about to, they about to basically fuck. You know what I'm saying? Um... While in the process of getting some head from the girl, he just, she licks her licks his ass. Now, of course, a lot of straight men be like, uh-huh, go ahead with that gay shit. Now, this is me personally. This is just my personal opinion. And as you know, I'm a personal opinion anyway. Mm. To me, whatever you do behind closed doors is not your business. If you let one your woman to lick your ass, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? To me, they don't make you gay. Because that's with your that's with your woman. You with your woman. You with a woman doing that. And to me, it's none of your business what y'all do behind um closed doors. And that's why I be telling motherfuckers, keep your mouth shut about what you do behind closed doors if you don't want to get clowned or you're afraid of judgment. But anyway, I'm not going to rain on that all day. Mm. But you know, the bra got some good hair game. Me and her be friends. I want to shit. Bra got good hair game. Her pussy real fat, tight, and juicy. So she got some pussy from her, of course. Okay. Um... Now, later on that evening, him and his, um, and the Freak Show crew basically go to the club and they meet some more stripper hoes. They there and they dance, and of course, they get the VIP treatment and they, they going all out for these bras. So, he meets the girl, Nikki. Nikki is a stripper, and she got a scandalous in her own way, too, but I'm not going to reveal the whole story. Um, they meet... Um, they fucked the first night, you know, fell and falls in love with her. Now, this is where I want to smack fella neck. The pussy may be good, dog, but damn. Damn. You fall in love with her ass quick? Anyway, I'm going to shut up. No judgment. Mm. Um, basically, he basically meets her, um, her boyfriend, Bone, was like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? Basically going on Nikki. Nikki was like, Bone, I'm having a drink. Um, they about to get the record in the club and shit. Bone leaps up like he going um slump fella, but I know fella got them hands. And of course the lawns on Pope are like, yo, nigga, you got a problem on that? So basically, they got the they got a broken beer ball in the razor, ready to go at it. And I'm like, oh shit now. And I'm just this reading this, I'm just like, damn, they about to get it cracking. Um, basically, you know, it didn't go down like that. They basically pulled Nikki out of the club. Nikki slips him his phone number. They go on a couple of days. They fuck. It's just so much bullshit going down and whatnot. 
Um, a lot of plans are being made. A lot, just a lot of shit. Woo, I just got to say, the moment, I'm just going to say this. <laughs> just because her pussy is golden, don't mean her heart is golden. That's just my personal opinion. Because nigga is shysty as shit. And at the end of the book, I just realized the way he connects his story, um, the characters from the Purple um, Cities um, series. And I was like, damn, I like that shit. Mm. Mm. So this wood is so good. Um, once again, this is um, a Jace approved book because to me, it wasn't, to me, it was more erotica than just um, street. Yes, it had street in there, but it was more sexual to me. And you know me, being my freestyle likes the sexual shit, of course. But um, overall, I do approve. I do give this book ten out of ten, and I definitely is this book is definitely Jace approved because, like I said, it deals with a lot with sex, money, drugs, blah blah. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching my review. I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year. I know I said I wasn't going to do any reviews until after New Year, but mm, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um, but I was like, I gotta do this review. Um, thank you, and I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. If you're going out New Year's Eve, please, please, I pray that y'all be safe. Get a cab. If you're going to drink, spend the night, do something, just don't go out there and drive. It's dangerous. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Happy New Year. Bye.